name is Riley, and today we are back with another coding tutorial. This one is going to be about scroll views. This can be a little tricky for some people, so I thought I'd make a video and kind of clear it up, because it's really not too difficult at all. So as you can see here, we have a button, which I'm just using as a label, that says top, and if we scroll down, there's one that says bottom. So I'm going to show you how to create this super simple application super quickly. So let's open up Xcode and go over to File, New, Project. And this is just going to be a single view application, so let's click Next. I'm just going to call this Scroll App YT for YouTube. Make sure we're using Swift. Actually, it doesn't really matter too much. And we're just going to create this here. Okay. Now, I'm just going to minimize these, and let's go over to our main.storyboard, which is where all the action is going to take place. So we have a view controller here with nothing on it, so we're just going to drag in a scroll view. And then we're just going to push this all the way up to all the bounds. And this is looking pretty good like that. And then we're just going to set some constraints, make sure it's zero on all sides. So there's our scroll view. Next step is to drag in a UI view. So let's do the same thing with that, make sure it hits all bounds. If I can grab onto it, that is. And then let's set some constraints. Let's do zero on all sides just like before but then we're going to set a height constraint and this height that I'm about to enter is going to be the height that you want the user to be able to scroll so if you want them to be able to scroll 1500 pixels then let's do that now you can see we get an error here so if you click on the view if you control drag over to the parent view we're going to set equal widths and that clears up those red lines like that and then just so you can edit things within that size if you click on the view controller you can change simulated size to freeform and then set the height to whatever you selected before we did 1500 and now we have this really long view and we can just drag in some labels just so I can demonstrate and we're going to put this one as top and then another one as bottom and then let's run it we're running it on iPhone 8 Plus so these aren't actually going to be in the middle because we didn't set constraints for them but the scroll view should work all the same And you can see we have our top label, and if we scroll down, we have our bottom label. So there you go, guys. It's as simple as that. You can add whatever you want onto here, and it will work just the same. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like. And if it didn't help you out, leave a dislike. And go down in the comments and tell me how I can improve for my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one.